In this segment, we will talk about how to incorporate multiple visualizations together. So I've already copy pasted our, one of our previous plots from before and our objective is to replicate this plot multiple times in this canvas. To do this, we will use the hconcat function or the attribute which starts with a square bracket and ends with a square bracket and every plot goes into a curly bracket. If I replicate this plot twice, comma separated, you will get two plots concatenated horizontally. And you can do this as many times as you want. So let's do this one more time. And there you have it. Similarly, we can also use the vertical concatenate attribute. So instead of H, we will say V. Running this will concatenate all the plots vertically. Alright, so let's now take a look at the repeat feature. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy paste a previous plot. Let's pick this one again. Let's type in repeat. And in the column segment, we will type in, let's say, temperature max, wind, and precipitation. And this should all be in quotations. Let's do the opposite. for the row segment let's then put the entire plot into the spec function let's remove the time unit and for the field this will come from repeat and that would be column similarly for y the field would come again from repeat but this time from row so in our columns we have temperature max wind and precipitation if you look at this plot temperature max wind and precipitation Similarly for the row, we have precipitation, wind, and temperature max. So precipitation, wind, and temperature max. And of course, the diagonal is the same because they, are, they have the same x and y axis. So basically, you can think of repeat as a loop in any programming languages that allows you to quickly replicate or quickly repeat multiple plots easily. Just a quick correction, this should also be quantitative as well. Now, the x-axis has much more meaningful values. Next, let's take a look at faceting. So, I've copy-pasted a code which looks like this, where the field is wind and we are counting all the records for each values of wind. So fasting would allow me to incorporate another dimension into this visualization. So what do I mean by that? Let's quickly add the facet code here. In every column, I want to incorporate the field weather, which is of type nominal. 
and now that we have our facet here we need to introduce spec again and put the entire plot inside it so now I'm counting all the values of wind but I separated them for each of the weather values this was also possible for every row let's just keep it in column that looks better next up is layering so again bringing back an old plot putting the entire plot inside layer which again starts with square brackets then curly brackets for each of the plots let's bring the same plot again but this time instead of line let's make it point so these are just two plots layered on top of one another we can also change the line plot and explicitly mention the type and introduce another field opacity that way the line is much less brighter than before layering is very useful when you want to add regression lines on top of your scatter plots finally let's talk about brushing and filtering so I've written a code where i've just plotted two plots side by side using hconcat and all of them have different x and y axis so temperature mean versus precipitation in one and wind and temperature max on the other let's go back up and bring in a selection code from before and let's put it into the first block We don't need the points, I'll get rid of the points, we just need an interval selection, let's just name it brush. And based on whatever this brush selects in the first plot, we will filter out points in the second plot. So again, transform, square brackets, and filter. And we will filter based on the brush. So now if we select anything in the first plot, second plot just shows the point or filters out the point from the first plot. Next, instead of filtering out the points in the second plot, let's just select or color the points that are being selected on the first block. Let me copy paste this again. Uh, let's remove the transform from here. From above, I've copy pasted the condition code inside the color segment. This would change to brush. Let's run this. Selecting anything here colors those corresponding points in the second plot. Let's do the same for the first plot too. So let's copy paste the color segment and bring it to the first plot. Run it. And there we go. 